Hi there, but a lot earlier than I expected, just to talk about the Grand National. I was watching uh, a lot of the Cheltenham Festival races back, looking for a national bet for myself. I feel I've found something that's value, and I'm prepared to put it up as a bet for my, my entry anti-post bets. Now, there won't be very many, and most of them will be on the day or the night before, and I'll put those bets out <coughs> just before the entry festival starts. But... Uh, having looked at the National, I, I saw four horses that interested me. Tiger Roll will interest everybody because his form's improved. He won the National last year, but he's 5-1, to one, and I think he'll be a better price on the day, and I'm prepared to, to wait until the day with him. But he's uh, clearly going to be very well bet, and to, hopefully we'll get 7-1 to one on the day. If not, then it'll just have to be left. There'll be no value in, in something less than 7-1. to one. But hopefully you get that in the morning of the race. Rothvinden looks laid out for the race as well from Willie Mallins. Only run after the weights came out. That was clearly so he wouldn't show the handicapper any more than he needed to know. And uh, he won the first time out. And he'll go to entry with a very big chance. And the third horse that... Will also go entry with a good chance as one that was balloted out last season, and that's Vintage Clouds. Trainers won the race be, uh, before, um, he was unlucky to be balloted out last year. Ground would have suited him very well. He's guaranteed to get in this year, and he's definitely going to be a player. He's just not quite a big enough price to go for the bet at the moment. So, <clears throat> the horse I'm going to bet now, it's all about betting to your means, betting it if you fancy it. And uh, if you see an angle to bet the horse. So my angle to bet the horse is uh, the horse is Maldini, Pat Kelly, trained in Ireland, small stable. Gone to the Cheltenham Festival, won a pretemps final. Also went to the festival and was second to miss the approach when he looked absolutely certain to win. It didn't seem to go by. He's... Um, He's a quirky horse, he's not won over fences yet, but he seems to be laid out for this race. He's had plenty of preparation races, including the two mile two race on uh, Sunday there, where he was beaten, but <coughs> that's way short of the distance he needs. And uh, he got experience with the new jockey as well, because David Russell won't be able to ride him on the National, so Sean Flanagan rode him in preparation to go to the National. Now, Park Kelly's a shrewd operation, and um, they've laid him out. They've laid these horses out to win good races in Ireland quite often. They've won two per temps finals at Cheltenham, and presenting Percy's won an RSA. This operation know what they're doing. They know how to lay one out, and I just think twenty five to one is very very big on a horse like that. Bet three six five are offering non runner no bet five places and twenty five to one and. For me, that's far too big. If he has a problem in his preparation, he won't run. We'll get our money back. Yes, you may get eight places on the day, but this is an operation that if they bet the horse, it could be an eight to one shot on the day. So getting in a bit early, I think he's a good horse. I think he's been laid out for this race and I'm prepared to go £10 each way, £10 like Nothing huge, but a value bet three weeks before the race that I think may come down in odds and is... Definitely, I mean, most horses are laid out for the National these days, but for Pat Kelly not to take the horse to Cheltenham is a bit of a statement that entries all that matters. So I'm prepared to go £10 each way, £10 win with 3.65, non runner, no bet in the five places. And that'll pay uh, £72.50 if he places and just shy of 600 if he wins. But that's the bet for today. I know it's a quick turnaround, I didn't think I'd be back so quick, but hopefully you'll comment, subscribe like the videos and I'll be back to you in the entry week to place the rest of the bank and that, the bank will probably only be 200 so there'll only be 170 left of the bank because we're not going to give all the money back that we want at Cheltenham but we're going to have a go and that's the first bit on Maldini so I'll speak to you soon thanks for watching bye for now